look at our, look our little daughters. Our little daughters wearing the hearts and tops of makeup at age 8 and 19. Our little daughters twerking on, twerking on Facebook and Snap and Instagram and TikTok. And they think it's cute. Right. Until our daughters are abduct, ab abducted. abducted. Right. Until our daughters are kidnapped. Until our daughters are raped and molested, man. And, and end up in someone's basement. They think it's cute for our son to play around in mommy's makeup. Until he, until one day he had, he dies from HIV and AIDS, and then it, then it, it ain't a joke no more. Black men don't fall for America's lust. Let this, let let America have their own lust and let them burn in it, man. Go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter twenty-two and fifteen. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. It said what? Foolishness, foolishness, man. It said foolishness is what? Is bound in the heart of a child. It says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. A child is foolish, man. A child, a child wants to eat candy all day, every day, if they want to. And guess what? They're gonna have cavities, and their teeth gonna fall out. A child, a child does not want to go to sleep. A child, a child wants to have recess all day. A child don't want to learn, don't want to study. A child don't want to learn addition and uh, subtraction, but they don't know it's going to help them out once they get older. That, and guess what? It's not their decision to read. You go, you're going to teach them how to read. You're going to teach them how to do math, man. You're going to teach them how to learn, to learn languages. Yeah. And you're going to teach a, a boy that he's going to grow up and be a man. You're going to teach a woman that she's going to, a girl, that she's going to be a woman and grow and be a woman, man. She's not going to, she, she's not, she's not going to identify herself as a man. And a man not going to identify himself as a woman. That's some, some American foolishness, man. That's some gay Roman culture, man. And that's all America is. America is nothing but baby Rome. And you know, Rome is famous for homosexuality. Rome is famous for them orgies and all kind of disgusting lusts and sexual deviancy, man. Where you at? Read again. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. When, Z when Zion came, when, when Zion Wade came home to the Wade Wade and said, I want to be Zion, that was what? Foolishness. That was foolishness, man. Any, any woman that wants to identify as a man is what? Foolishness. Any man that wants to identify himself as a woman is what? Foolishness. It's foolishness, man. Read on. Is bound in the heart of a child. If foolishness is bound, if, if, if bound in the heart of a child, you have to get that foolishness out of that child by teaching them. Read on. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. It said, but the rod of correction. You discipline that child, it's gonna do what? Drive it far from him. It's gonna drive that, it's gonna drive them far from him, man. Zion Wade, once we become Zion Wade, make him do push-ups. Make him run some laps. Take the nails off of him, man. Put him in boot camp and drive that homosexual spirit away from him, man. Because it is evil and against God. Who we at? Give me second. Uh, give me Second Thessalonians chapter three, chapter two, verse three. Foolishness, man. And black man, you gotta understand that you are. We can, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, you gotta understand, understand that we are at attack by America at all ways. They're gonna attack us, they're gonna attack our masculinity. They're gonna attack us with the drugs. They're gonna attack us and harass us and put us in jail. Right. We are at war, America's at war with black man and black woman and Latino woman and man at every which way, black man. And we gotta be aware of it. You gotta be aware of it and keep your eyes peeled. You gotta seek counsel from wise men so they can tell you how to how to defend against how to defend yourself against these tactics of America, man. And you're only gonna find the, you're only gonna find defense and wisdom in the ISGBK. We don't need the brother the brothers here and our commander general is gonna teach you the way the ways of and the strat these evil strategies of America and how to defend yourself from them, man. For sure we under war. We've been under war. Just because just because we just because everybody it's not physically getting shot, don't mean you're not being attacked. Okay. Right. So y'all believe with the time we're gonna come up and, and, and fight in a physical baseball with them. That's right.
The Lord, God, God is going to send a black man in Christ to do that. That's right. Christ is going to get a, it said in the Bible. So we need Christ to come back and say, what's this little white man? Say again? We can't fight him on our own? Of course, it's going to happen. But right. when Christ, when, when the Lord, when, well, when the Lord gives that order, to God is going to give that order. Little, the little prophet's boy. Why are they so powerful that the most high got to come back to save us from him? Because we got to turn back ourselves to God. We have turned, why, 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 why am I evil? I'm, e I'm evil. we overcome nations? Guess what? You will, you will get, we will get the opportunity again once you get turned back to God. Right. The, the, you got to understand, the reason why we, the reason why we poor, the reason why we're in slavery is a punishment from God. I don't, I don't want God to come back. It's a punishment from the, God, from man. I want him to be under my foot He's when a, he come back. If you want, want, if you want him to be under your foot, to come back to have to save me from some. If you want him to be under your foot, from some little. Give me Isaiah. Give me man. Isaiah fourteen and twenty one. That's not my salvation. Actually, actually that is the salvation. Is you the Lord? The white man is going to be under so your foot. He's going to be under your foot. I'm not worried about. But you got to follow God, man. I got bigger things. You gotta to go follow God. Man. We gotta take him out no, by ourselves. We Listen, can't wait for How many times have, have you tried that? Look at the Black Panthers, they That's failed. Right. The Black Panthers talking, have, were failures, now right? You're talking scared. Then I'm not talking scared. I'm a full up warrior. You talking scared. You, talking you afraid, scared. you afraid of you afraid I'm of, not afraid of you afraid, of, like afraid to become a warrior for God, man. Change your I'm life, not man. You afraid to be a warrior say for God. You know what you scared to do? To give up serving America and serve God. Right. That's what you scared to do. I'm telling you straight up. And I ain't saying it to you, disrespect where is that you. Hold on, I'm, I'm explaining to you. From my word? No, I'm, I'm explaining to you. You just pulled out the air. No. Because at one time, my I, word I, is as one, at one time, I was on that side asking the same question. Right. We all were. Right. So now you don't believe that you will ever have to have a physical conversation. Give me Baruch, give me Baruch when no I want. Race war, that we can sit then in give me Romans 9 and 16. We go ahead, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. Go ahead. We tell that Romans 9 and 16 or 9 and 15. years Where you at? with no gates, no bars, about two or three people keeping all these black people mm -hmm. in, in mental you know what Baruch? And at no point in time are we going to lay hands on him? We don't deserve to be a people or a nation until we rise up and defeat him physically. Now listen, I don't want to hear nothing about God coming back to table from the little white your, man. Your anger is righteous. That's right. Your anger is righteous. We all ain't angry. The first thing is we all ain't angry like that. That's right. Me and you share the same anger. That's right. Moses, hey. hold on one second, right, brother. Be bad, disciplined. Bro. I appreciate that. Moses had the same anger in Israel, in Egypt. And what did he do on the first day? He killed an Egyptian. You talking about killing white people? Did that save anything? Did that make a difference? Hell no. Because the next day when he went out to his own people and saw them fighting each other, they asked him, what are you going to do? You can't do nothing. That's not the answer. The answer is obeying God. And I'm going to tell you why. Give me you follow In the Old Testament, did we fight Give, hold on, or not? Bro, yes, we did. Did we and, take out nations what, that oppressed what, them and did not did, recompense when we came out the blood of Egypt, when we came out of our Egypt, hands? When we came out of Egypt, did we fight? Yes. No, we didn't. We took out plenty nations. Yeah. We took no, out No, brother. King. Listen we to that. Brother, you can't be emotional. Brother, if we're going to get our understanding, you can't be emotional. Listen to what I'm asking you. Listen to what I'm asking you. I'm not asking you if we fought after. Okay. Egypt was our first greatest captivity. The destruction of Egypt is biblical. It's, it's, it's no throughout the earth. Did we have to lift a finger to get out of Egypt? I want him to answer. Could you keep some discipline, brother? Please. We did not have to fight. We had to fight to obey God. God sent Moses and gave one command. Everybody kill this lamb. Put the blood over your door and stay inside tonight. Our salvation comes from obedience. We were not hold on, to hold fight. on, brother. We were too scared to fight. And we in Egypt, we we in army, Egypt we again. And we in Egypt again. And I'm telling you, you ain't ready to fight. You ain't ready to fight. Every time you get a little bit angry, you cutting me off to say what you want to say. What do you think you're going to do with a gun and a sword in your hand when you get angry with your people? That's what I'm trying to tell you. We ain't ready to fight. And furthermore, you have, you have a valid point. This white man is inferior. These nations can't stand with us. But if God is not with you, anything could beat you. Anything. I'm going to show you it in the Bible. Read. Baruch chapter 4, verse 6. Uh -huh. Ye sowed, 
ye, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. God said we were sold to these nations, not for our destruction. We serve this white man in slavery, not because he's better than us, but because God was punishing us because we disobeyed him. If God puts us in jail, we can't break out of jail. How long did this he take? Got, hold on. I'm fit. Keep your peace, brother. I'm showing you something here. Because you have a right anger. Ezra, in this book, you go read as first Ezra and second Ezra. Ezra was just as angry as you, cursing out an angel of the Lord. Not man, not a prophet of the Lord, but an angel of the Lord. And the angel told him, your anger is right, but you don't understand. And Ezra couldn't get it. That's oppression. What you feeling is right. The scriptures say oppression makes a wise man mad. That's right. You're right to be angry. That's right. You're right to be angry. Be so angry we don't get we don't go get high no more. Right. Huh? Can, can that go on the ballot? No more weed. No more K2, no more THC or whatever else, TLC, whatever they call it. That's right. right? No more cocaine heroin. No more strip clubs. No more whoring. No more homosexuals and lesbians. That's no right. more Christian church. Well, we so angry, hold on, I ain't done. Okay. We so angry, we ain't voting no more. We don't want to give a damn about what even Alexander got to say, or Muriel ba Bowser. We don't care. We serve God. No more pork. No more shrimp. Be that angry first. That's right. The, do, we have to, do we have to harm, do we have to harm Chinese people? You remember last year, when them Asians was beating up our women? Do we have to harm them? Nah. God sent coronavirus and they drop in there. Right. That's right. Why? We ain't got to harm them. We got to obey God. Now let me give you the bonus. You said, you said no Christian church. Uh -huh. Let me ask you something. In the Christian church, they have a, a doctrine. And I'm they call it, They call it the rapture. Uh huh. It's pretty much escapism. You just gonna no, get that, taken out of trouble. What's the <laughs> difference in you telling me that that's, the that's, most high gonna come back that that's not in the Bible. You ain't got to lift the I'm going to answer, answer, answer that one question for you. That's scared talk. No, that's not scared You're talk. You're not ready to fight. You. Do you have any guns? You. You got AL-15, AK-47. You are scared, scared talk. talk. You are scared talk. Talk. You are scared talk. talk. This is the war plan right here. We're, the war We're plan. going to war right now. That's I'm right. warring right now with you and your spirit that's right now. We're right here in war. Right Why would we do it? Because I was just like you. I was lost just like you. What do you know about me? I don't know nothing. All right, but let's talk about what we talked about. I'm a, I'm, I, the only thing I know is you, my brother. Right. And my experience is your experience. I understand your frustration. Your and I'm trying, I'm try, it's not same. my doctrine. And I'm trying to, to show you, brother. I never said we didn't have to fight. Because all that talking you talk about, I ain't saying we didn't have to fight. fight. I didn't say we have to fight. You sound like Martin Luther King. No. You listen. I'm trying to take now that you on the payroll for DCPD. Right. You sound like you sound you sound like one of them men that send up what? here to stop our speaking. What? You, listen, they do it. What? That's what you sound like. Right. That's what you sound like. like. You sound just you like that. Sound listen, like you, I, you, you sound that. just like that. Come on, man. Yeah, you say let me like tell you that. something. We do have to fight. You don't have no But we we got to fight. We got to fight our lust to love this place. You go go to war with the white man. Let's say you kill all the white people. Then what next? You don't believe you Then can. what next? You don't believe we will win. I don't want to kill all white people. You don't believe we will win a race. I don't Say want that. to kill them. Do you believe we Listen, will win a race? Listen, I right don't now? want to kill all white people. You know why? I want them as slaves like they had my forefathers. So if you right. kill them all, how they going? Don't they if you kill them, I can't don't answer that. me that smarty pants. If you kill them all, how are they going into slavery? Explain no, 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 no. I never said you said, you said that's, that's what you said. That's what you just you said. You said, I don't believe we could do it. Right. And I'm telling I you, I don't want to do it. I war. want them as slaves. That's what you that's win right. a race war, you take them into slavery. Let, you you say again? You, when you win a race war, you take them into slavery. That's what that's Christ said. That's what's going to happen biblically. Exactly. So, if so you then you what's your problem? Then you believe you gotta lay hands on them, don't I you? I never said we that we was not going to. Okay. I so never said we was not going to. What I'm telling you is, what I'm telling you is, you are not it. ready to do it. How do you That's know right. what I'm you ready to do? You are not because you're not ready to because, because you ain't ready to give up pork. You ain't right. ready to give up shrimp. You ain't ready to give up all them things that you love. No, you are. You are. You are. I know what to eat. The scriptures say what comes out of your mouth is the overflow of your heart. You trying to get me to do something that's against the Bible.
You're trying to get them to break rank. What do you mean? You don't understand that. Right, right. Yeah, I know you don't understand that. No, so you don't understand warfare. What, what is, I saw that. What? That's why we can't go kill white people. What is what? I saw it. No, what? You did this. You just did that. When he said yes, right. You made a fist and looked at him. That's your brother. That's I why you're not ready. You're making That's why mistake. you're not ready. That's not you're, not ready. Not you're, ready. Not ready. you're not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready. You are not ready. That's right. If you're quick to harm another black man, you are not ready. I just saw you do it. I saw you do it. You're a liar, man. You're a liar. You are a liar. That is the point. Brotherhood must come first. That's right. It must come first. That's right. Don't tell me nothing about killing the white people when we're killing each other. You just made a fist at this brother. You just did it! Brotherhood must come first! Right. Obeying God must come first! That's, right. That's warfare! That's the art of war! That's, right. That's how we get out of this captivity! Right. You, you don't understand it! I'm Read! I'm trying to change the subject. This is because you're scared away from it. Go, go to first district and collect your check. Go collect your check. Go collect your check from first district. Read! That we gotta lay hands on him. And you will teach him to lay hands on him. Jacob, how I love what he said. Verse 15. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. God said I will have mercy on whomever I will have mercy. God said I will have mercy on whoever I will have mercy. And I will and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. God said I will have compassion on whoever I will have compassion. That's right. God is running this program, not you. God is. How in the hell are you going to break rank and talk about, yeah, we need to lay hands on them, which they do need a judgment. They do need it. But in a split second, this brother said, that's right, and you did this. So I'm working out. I told you I didn't do it, and you keep saying That's you what you weak. did. You sound weak. I'm, I saw you, you do sound it. Weak. I'm you sound sound weak. weak. You're trying to change the subject. Because I called you, you out on your weak. bullshit. Dude, I would never I touch you, brother. You. I know I you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't touch him. I understand you wouldn't touch him. But you just did it. You're trying to change the subject. I saw you do it. That is the same subject. You're trying to change the subject. You listen. You scared. You are scared. You scared to obey God. You scared to obey God. God. You are easy led astray by the lust of the white man. You scared to obey God. You scared to obey God. Have some heart and, and obey God. Have some heart and obey God. Obey God first. Obey Him first. That's right. Have some heart. Read. So then it is not of Him, of Him that willeth. Nor of him that runneth, uh -huh. but of God that showed mercy. God is the one who gonna show mercy to whoever he wants. And God showed mercy to the 12 tribes of Israel. God gave us mercy to be his chosen. Read. For well, the scripture says unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. What the brother said was right. This white man never got nothing on us. The Bible said, even fair, even. For the sake of Pharaoh have I raised him up. God is the one who raised Pharaoh up mighty and powerful in Egypt. God is the one who raised America up mighty and powerful over us and the Hispanics. Go ahead. That I might show my power in thee. That I show my show what? My power in thee. That I might show what? My power in thee. God, this brother's power. My power in thee. What does God want to do? do? He wants to do what? Show my power in thee. Does God want us to just rise up and then slaughter these devils? Show my power in thee. What does God want us to do? Show my power in thee. Let me tell you something, man. Let me ask you one question, brother. Do you got children? And this is not this is not a disrespect or anything. Do you have children? I don't have any kids. No problem. You have nieces? Yep. If someone harms them, right? What do you want to do? Take advantage, take advantage. And if they say, nah, uncle, I'm going to do it, what are you going to say? You, you going to do, do it with me? Say it again. I'm going to help you. Why? Because I'm more powerful. And, and why else? Because I got more wisdom. And why else? Because you love your children. 
or you love your nieces. God feels the same way about us. That's right. You could understand it for you, but you can't understand it for God. Let me explain something to you, brother. I, don't understand your I, analogy. Don't I know you don't. You're